Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, MMA for self defense.com. I'm going to show you my way of doing the Kimura from guard. I think it really is the best way out of every way that I've seen that uses your body in the best possible way for angle and leverage. Okay, and it really is different than a way a lot of people teach it. So try it out and see what you think. As far as grips are concerned, I know a lot of the Brazilians say no thumb on the grip that you grab the wrist with. I don't agree with that. Maybe it's because my hands are strong and I'm a strong guy. I like to see grip around that wrist and then I use combine. The other hand I usually do, I think thumbless. Thumb in, thumb out, I really don't care. But I do and I don't see the reason why per se. No one's ever pushed against my thumb so hard and broke or I, I let go. Okay, Kimura from guard. Let's just say the guy is a beginner. I didn't have to do a pop up sweep first to get that hand to the ground. Let's just say very basic Kimura and I'm work on this one. Kimura. Very basic Kimura on this arm. Number one, of course, I'm going to staple. Like I said, I don't like to do that. Strong, sweaty MMA fighter going to pull that right out. I like the thumb. Mostly because maybe I'm big and I get my fingers pretty close together. Okay. You sit up to him. Just like a guillotine, just like pop-up sweep, nothing's loose. A lot of attempts, you'll see, are really way out here, loose on the arm. You're going to put the guy in danger, and then he's going to straighten out on my own way back. Okay? Try and straighten on your arm. Even though he's way smaller than me, I'm about 229 right now, and he can straighten it out. So whenever you attack guillotine, pop-up sweep, whatever, sit up and hit him with your ribs and be tight to him. Think about the body, the best way to use it for leverage. Okay, so I'm going to be here. Once I get my, my double wrist grip together, okay, for the Kamara, or like a figure four, downward figure four, whatever you want to call it, double wrist lock, I'm going to fall to my back and kick my right leg up high. Same way as you should be for your arm bars and many other submissions. I'm going to fold my back. This is, the, this is the wrong way. This is what everyone does. They keep their spine basically in line with this guy's spine. And they try arm power to put this up. Or they try to walk it up to his head. You'll see a lot of attempts. And even a couple successful attempts in the UFC. Um, I think like maybe Hogar or Bonner and Rashad Evans. One of those guys fighting Rashad, I think. You don't want my spine in line with this spine. You want to get all submissions on angle of attack for the most amount of leverage. So as I go, I might get, I want to be tight to him. I kick off at an angle up high on the back. Just keep it next to him. I kick off at an angle of attack and recross my legs. Of course, if I don't have any pressure here and I'm loose, he'll pass my guard. So yes, of course I keep tight pressure. Even if I'm open for a second, I keep tight pressure with my knee to his chest and recross. This is a nice angle of attack that you should be hitting your arm bars from triangles, everything else, right? Why don't we do the same with the Kimura? From here, instead of fighting arm power to arm bar, flex and fight him in it, instead of fighting him out here in this range of motion, where most people eventually should come here and stack me in my guard because of my nose, that's basically the defense that works. I'm at an angle though, it's very easy to fight me. If I can push him here, fight me, oh, he can't pull it away from the arm. And it's not just because I'm bigger. If I have a plane of existence, a wall, to push the arm against, I own the arm. You push it against your own leg, and then I walk it up my leg until it get frees uh, by the knee. Once it clears by the knee, I, I turn the Kimura, I, think I find the best way to submit someone you can do like different ways of, of hurting the shoulder. I combine both angles of attack. The best way is like a banana to the back of his head. A nice little curve part to the back of his head. And that works the best on little flexible guys and especially against big muscular guys, which is what I trained for. That's the best angle of attack uh, against their tight shoulders. You can like Corey like Gracie in on a really flexible, he's flexible. You can walk it up that that way, but if you're strong, that's going to be hard. And strong and flexible is a bad combination. Or guys go out this way, like Kamara from the top. Okay, but if I go here and I do short banana motion, that's the best way. And his shoulder is about to break right there. Okay. So, Kamara, get it. 
you come up tight to him. Where do you look to get the arm? Not loose out here, where there's space and sweat to yank that arm out. Yank your arm out. Boom. Stay tight to him. Yank your arm out. He's fighting friction now. Fall back and kick your leg up at the same time, the same way I teach a guillotine. Off an angle, we cross your guard. Walk it up your leg, okay? And then push the hand, banana motion to the back of the head. Okay, to get his hand on the mat, maybe I do something to keep her basement. Good, we're fighting here. I do a little pop up sweep. Oh, he stops, he puts his hand on the mat, I fall back to guard, I go this direction, and here's the camera from guard to the back of the head. Okay, guys, just to talk about the motion a minute. Go ahead, back. Try not to break the chair. Same thing. Let's say I, I get, get the camera from here. I like to post power move, post to rip him on his side. You will see guys that say angle out at 90 for the submission. Flexible guys, see that? He didn't tap. Or they teach this. He's touching his shoulder blade. I can't do that. But let's let's go for where all opponents react. Little banana move, combine both motions. And he's tapping. It gets tight like a rubber band. So that's the best motion is the little banana. In my opinion, for fighting, that way it works on all types of guys, okay? Alright, thank you very much. I'm Daniel Wolfman. Check out MMA for self-defense.com.